I'm telling you. Rudy Gay! 360 Alley. Ooh. They don't want to see my team get a pair of wins. Try to keep me still. Look where I'm at now. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. No way. No. Oh. Yo, what is up you guys, this is that nigga, and you know it's my favorite time of the year, it's that time of the year, and that is NBA playoffs, let's do it man, so, it's been set, all the teams are scheduled to play Saturday and Sunday and all that stuff, and today is Thursday, I'm gonna try to post the Eastern Conference predictions today, I'm going to try to post both of them today, East and West. If I don't, I'll post East today and West on Friday. But um, I'm going to post the East today, which is Thursday. So, let's get this started, guys. You know the first matchup we got. The Atlanta Hawks versus the Brooklyn Nets. So, um, this matchup is pretty interesting because... You have the Atlanta Hawks, and they, they I mean, they were just on a crazy, crazy streak in the beginning of the year. They were just beasting on teams. They were beating good teams. They were beating any team out there. They had, like, one of the best chemistries out there. They were just beasting their feet and won, like, 20 consecutive games. I'm not sure exactly, but they won a lot, and they've just been playing really well. Um, but but I don't know. Towards like the end of the season, they just slowed down, man. They just they lost their chemistry. They started getting injuries. They started losing games. But they was you you knew they were still good. That you knew they were still a great team. So you know it's a big question mark for Atlanta Hawks. I'm not sure if they're ready for the playoffs yet. I I mean who knows? Who knows, right? So. I'm I'm not a true believer in in the Hawks. I feel like they're a great team. They are a great team. They have great chemistry, but at the same time, I'm not a true believer. I feel like they just they're kind of flawed in, in a way, in a way. But I still think they're a good team. So I think they will beat the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets are, I mean, they're not a bad team, to be honest, you know. They have Brooke Lopez, they have Dan Williams, Jerry Jack off the bench, and they have Joe Johnson. So, and they have Thaddeus Young, they picked them up. So, I mean, they, they're not a bad team, but at the same time, I don't think it's enough to beat the Hawks. But I will, get, I will give um Brooklyn two games maybe two games at home maybe they might still want in Atlanta I feel like they can still two games because the, uh, the um the Nets are not bad but also the Hawks are just inconsistent man you just don't know what you're gonna see from them so I feel like the Hawks might give up two games but we'll see I think the Hawks will still win four to two that's my prediction next game we got is Cavaliers versus Boston Ah man, this one's gonna be pretty easy, man. Come on, like, are you serious? Do we have to discuss this? <laughs> no, but for real, guys, Cavaliers, man. This one's an easy one for. It's an easy one for me. I think they want to sweep 4-0. I feel like the Cavaliers just every game they play, man. They just their chemistry gets better. Each player gets better on that team. They have confidence. Uh, you know, they started struggling in the beginning of the season, and people were like, "Oh, Cavaliers are." You know, uh, you know, it's not working out, but you knew they were going to pick it up at the end of the season. And LeBron did an excellent job, you know, t you know, teaching these like young bloods how to win games and how to pa and how to pass it. J.R. Smith is finally playing how we want him to play, kind of. He's not, you know, he has so much potential. He did, man. He has so much potential, but at least he's focusing because you can't party in Cleveland. You could party in New York because he was in New York last year. But you can't party in Cleveland, and you know LeBron's not gonna be cut. You're not, you're not gonna be having that. So, J.R. Smith is focusing, which is key, and they picked up a Mon Shumpert. Woo, that's key too. So, Cavaliers will win 4-0, man. Boston, you know, it's the East, so that's the, that's the only reason why they made it. They're not a bad team. They're a decent team, but they have some pieces, but they're just not. There's, there's no way they can match up. There's no way. No way. But I do like Isaiah Thomas to come off the bench. That's the key 
player on that team, but there's no way they're going to beat the Cavaliers one time. All right, so that's going to be a sweep. <laughs> Um, next game we got Chicago Bulls versus the Bucks, and to be honest, guys, the Bulls are iffy to me. Now, I like the Bulls because they have playoff experience and they know how to win in the playoffs because they, I mean, they've been through so much playing against LeBron and and all them players, man. But um, and the Bulls know how to win in the playoffs. And plus, picking up Pau Gasol is obviously a plus to your team. But the Bulls are just, mm, they're kind of iffy, man. They're coming back from injuries. Jimmy Butler just came back, and D. Rose just came back, and, you know, Taj Gibson just came back. But, I mean, they have great players, and they have a great bench. It's just sometimes they just don't show up. And it's just kind of scary to see them not show up at times because when you play, like, a team like the Cavaliers, you got to show up every game. Because that's a great, I mean, Cavaliers are a great team. You gotta show up every game. So, um, you know, Bulls are just, they're very inconsistent too. But I feel like they are a playoff team. And I feel like once the playoffs hit, once the playoffs hit, they just focus and they just play basketball, man. Their defense isn't the same as it used to be. But they still got a lot of pieces. Also, Nikola Mirtic, man, that man. He, he could be player, I mean, he could be rookie of the year, but it might be Andrew Wiggins. But he's been playing so great, man. He's been playing excellent, come off the bench. You know, he, he was going over 20 points easily. And he can, I mean, he's, I like his, I like his game a lot. I really do. So, I think he's a great player. Um, but the Bulls are inconsistent. Also, I'm talking about the Bucks. The Bucks are, that's a young team, man. And, you know. Good job, Jason Kidd, for coaching that team. The Bucks had one of the worst seasons last year. Like, just one of the worst records ever. Like, last year. And now, they are in the playoffs. I mean, that's just great coaching. That's just great coaching. So, Jason Kidd, excellent job getting your team in the playoffs. But I don't think you're going to get past the first round because you're playing against the Bulls. And the Bulls have playoff experience. The Bucks are young, man. Chris Middleton, young. You got... Um, I think he's young. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. If I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> but um, they have Chris Middleton. They have that Akuto Puku dude. I can't pronounce his name. They have um, they picked up Michael Carl Williams. So like, just young players, man. And I'm not sure if they're ready yet. I mean, it, I think I, I'll give the Bucks two games. I'll give them two games. Maybe one, one or two games. I give them two games. But it's gonna be 42. Bulls will win. They're going to close it out they game six. So, last matchup of the video is Toronto and Wizards. And this is one of my favorite ones in the East because you got two teams that's just, you just, they're unpredictable. You got Toronto Raptors and you, you just don't know what to expect from Toronto Raptors. Now, DeMar DeRozan has had a great year. You have Kyle Larby, he had a great year. Vasquez, I guess. Lou Williams playing excellent, man. He should be sixth man of the year. I mean, he's playing really good, too. Um, it's, I mean, Toronto Raptors, man. It's one of those teams I don't trust either. I mean, any team in the East, for the most part, I don't really trust because it is the East. But, <laughs> but nah, for real, man. Um, Raptors are, they're pretty, um, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Also, the Wizards are pretty good too. It's just these two teams. You just they're so unpredictable. You just don't know who's gonna show up each game. It could be the Wizards that show up game one. It could be the Raptors that show up game two. You just don't know who's gonna show up each game. That's why I'm gonna say this game's gonna go to game seven. And I'm gonna pick my home team because it is my home team, not my favorite team, but it is my home team, and that is the Washington Wizards. They will win in the first round because the Wizards have talent too, man. And it's, it's only because they need Nene and Gortat to show up, and also Bradley Bill. It's asking for a lot, but yeah, I, I trust the two people I trust on that team. One, John Wall, because John Wall is developing every single year. He's getting better and better every single year. He averaged the most assists in the league, so you know, he's a, he's a phenomenal player. John Wall and the truth. Paul Pierce. I trust only them two. I don't trust Bradley Bill. He he has his moments where he just he gets you like five points. You got Nay Nay. This man he just gets tired quick and he just 
doesn't get rebounds. You got Gortat. He might not show up. But if they all show up, man, the Wizards are very dangerous, man. They're very dangerous. Their bench is kind of iffy. You know, their, their bench isn't that great. But, I mean, that's starting five. If they show up, I mean, it's kind of like the Clippers, man. The Clippers have no bench whatsoever. But if, they, if the starting five show up, it's a wrap. So, I think Wizards will win this series. Game seven, I'm calling it in Toronto. Yes, sir. It's going to be crazy, but I, that's what I believe. So, there you guys have it. That is perfect video, too. Ten minutes. Wow. That is the East Eastern Conference prediction video I have for you guys. Um, if you guys want to, let me know in the comments below your predictions. Who do you believe is going to beat uh, whatever matchup you mentioned? And, um... There you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And also, by the way, don't look at like what I have as my video background. That's just I'm just matching up the teams, you know, by each match. I'm not doing it like, you know, whoever wins in that 2K video doesn't mean I believe they're going to win in the series. It's just like I just let the computers play and just and they just play. You know, don't don't pay attention to that. But um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out, guys. Peace.